Amazon will take over exclusive rights for Thursday night football starting with the 2022 season. That's a year earlier than expected. Fox has agreed to exit its existing deal for the Thursday package after this season. The deal marks the first time the NFL has sold a package of games exclusively to a streaming service. The games will only be available on television in the local markets of the two teams playing. Last month, the NFL announced new media deals with ESPN and ABC, CBS, Fox and NBC. Americans emerging from a year spent at home are in for a surprise at the store. Rising prices on just about everything from gas to groceries. Here's CBS's Carter Evans. It's sticker shock at the supermarket. This is unusually expensive. Is Rising prices at Tammy expensive. Gunther's local grocery store are adding $40 or more to her weekly bill. How much did you spend? 131 something. 131 bucks, you got five bags. It does feel like, it feels like last year this would have been about 90 bucks for this. She's not alone. Americans are paying more for the basics. Citrus fruit up 9.8%, bacon up more than 8%, and beef up 7.1%. Gas station prices are up more than 22% from a year ago. They're as high as they were right before the pandemic. UCLA senior economist Leo Feller says gas prices fell so low last year it put some oil producers out of business. And production still hasn't caught up as drivers hit the road again. Demand for groceries is up 11% because people hunkered down at home. And that put pressure on suppliers, which drove up food prices. This will start changing as people shop less at grocery stores and as they go out more to restaurants. You seem pretty confident that this is not the beginning of an inflationary period. Yeah, I don't think so. This is very different than 1970s. The consumers have a lot more power these days. But you can still expect basics like toilet paper and diapers to cost more. Procter & Gamble, Kimberly Clark and Coca-Cola announced they too are increasing prices because they're paying more for raw materials in short supply. It's bad for your pocketbook, but it's good in terms of we're back to how we were before. Consumer prices are expected to stabilize in the coming months. One exception, though, may be lumber. Lumber prices have skyrocketed 300% in the last year as people forced to isolate try to improve their homes. And there's no sign construction is slowing down. Carter Evans, CBS News, Los Angeles. Coming up, calls to child abuse hotlines peaked at one particular point during the pandemic. We'll explain when Valley News Live at 4 continues.